here we are at the legendary Cave Studios, which Kevin Shirley uses um, as his final moment to put his rubber stamp on his projects. He's done a lot of work in this studio and he really likes working here. He works by, entirely by himself, he doesn't have a, an engineer here. He just sits down here and gets some food from around the corner. And home's not too far away and family. And as you can see here it's an SSL board and it's got all the mod cons. It makes things feel very nice and comfortable. It's not like a, a, a lot of studios where too many parties have been thrown. It's, it's a workspace, but it's comfortable. It's like someone's lounge room. It's always nice to try to personalise a song. And I think Glenn Campbell once said, I, 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 or me, me, me songs. And I do love the play upon words. And I think that's where the influence of obviously Jim Morrison and, and The Doors and Colin Blundstone and Rod Argent, and to a lesser extent, or to some extent, Ross Ballard of, of Argent. I like the poetic nature of writing things which are slightly dark. At the same time, also allowing the listener to try to figure out what it means to them. It may be about my next door neighbour or, you know, you know, falling out of love or falling in love. An observation of, of personal events or hearing a line going, wow, isn't that a great line? And we say it every day but we don't think about it. have appreciated the people that I've worked with and at the same time walked into the room in a relaxed fashion. For me, I just wanted to make a, the best album that we possibly could on this day, in this week, in this year and I think everybody was up for it and I think we've achieved a very good sound on this album. I believe that Kevin's experienced enough and has enough taste to go, you need to give, it, give the song a bit more time and you'll get a bit more out of that song. And I respect that, his opinion on that in regards to that song. And then the song isn't my loving enough. It didn't gel with the rest of the tracks. It's not a poor song. It's actually quite a good song. And we'll come back to it another day. And, it allows the door open for more. It's like a moment in time. This hasn't gone over two years or three years or one year. Or, this is just five days of live recording, virtually mixed as it's gone uh, to, to the hard drive. And with that little bit of finish that we alluded to with the Chief Professor. I 